Hello everyone, this is Engineer Hussam, and today I'm going to show you alphabets of line. Okay, this is layout and lettering chapter 2. So, what are alphabets of line? I would like to inform you that thickness for engineering drawing has meaning, and thickness has meaning, and shape has meaning. Okay, what we mean by we cannot use any thickness of the line thick or thin for any purpose of engineering drawing okay we have to be specific when we use thick line or thin line also shape of line what do you mean by shape of line the line is line do you think there is a shapes yes the answer is yes and here it's simple the shape could be continuous dashed or dash dot dash dot or dash double dot or any type of shapes okay so here's the first type of lines called visible line okay this visible line the visible line has to be thick here's the information about the line has to be thick and the shape see we said we have thickness and we have shape so the thickness the visible line is thick and the shape of visible line is continuous can you see here is the shape of, of visible line okay what's the purpose of visible line where we use visible line simply when you draw the boundary of the shape like this the geometry when we draw our geometry see here the geometry here the geometry the whole the profile all the time you have to draw it in visible line because you want other people to understand your drawing okay then we have second type of lines called hidden line hidden line is thin line so characteristic of this line if you ask is this hidden line visible or thin uh, thick or thin the answer is thin okay so for the thin for the visible for the hidden line it is thin what's the shape of hidden line is it continuous no the answer it is dashed and they are equal dash okay so dash 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 as you can see here for the numbers you can see 0.8 millimeter or 0.26 millimeter or an inch 0.03 inch this number depend on the size of the drawing that you are using so you are not required to memorize them usually you will find these by trial when you are using uh, inventor or autocad or any cad software you try to apply this these type of lines and you can see if they are appear on the drawing or not appear then you can increase the size and so on so for now what I just want you to understand that we have thickness we have variation of thickness thick and thin and we have variation of shapes okay so here is another example of hidden line where we use the hidden line the hidden line we use it when we have edges of the shape they are not appear this edge they are not appear if you look from outside the object as an example this object is made of wood okay so you cannot see the edge in the back because this is not glass this is wood or metal or plastic so we represent it as a dash line okay why we represent it as dash line because we want other people to understand the boundary or the depth as an example here for this hole the depth of the hole if i did not represent the hole in dashes okay then no one will able, will be able to understand what's the depth of this hole Okay. In this example here, this hole in the middle with this key and this hole are represented in hidden line from the side. Because when you catch part geometry, when you catch geometry, as an example, I'm catching this geometry, I can see from outside, but I cannot see from front of you what is if there is a, ho a hole in the top of you. Okay? So that's why we represent it from the side as dash line. Okay? There is another line called center line, this one in the middle. And the center line is simply highlight long, small, and long. This is how the uh, center line. Okay? And if you are in the top of you, you should represent the center line. If you are Parallel to the hole, you should represent the cent two center lines, one vertical, one horizontal, for this hole. 
and for this one one vertical one horizontal but if you are looking to the whole from the side view you represent only one line okay now moving to another type of line we have three types on this page we have dimension line extension line and leader three of them are thin three, three of them are continuous so we should draw dimension line continuous extension line continuous leader continuous and thin remember what's the di dimension line extension line and leader dimension line simply the line that has arrow from each side and you have text in the middle okay so you want to explain what's the value of this width as an example from here to here you can say this is 86 so I should represent it in dimension line okay so what's extension line extension line the line that specify exactly from where to where as an example from this corner you draw ex one extension line and from the other corner you draw one extension line okay so this line the vertical line is the extension while this horizontal line is the dimension line don't mix for the leader if you have hole and you want to add or not you can add leader line later I will show you an example why we use leader okay let's move to other type of damage uh, lines we have cutting plane lines and viewing plane lines the difference between them the viewing plane line is you don't need to add lines in the middle however in some standard they add line, uh, lines in the middle and for the cutting plane line it is as you can see it is thick it's not thin and it consists of dashed lines with arrow from each side okay but for the usage you can use cutting plane line for different reason or different purpose okay so here is the difference between cutting plane line and viewing plane line for cutting plane line from the name it has to cut the object so I place the cutting plane line in the middle of the hole so I'm cutting the object in the middle if I use to cut the object in the middle I should use cutting plane line and how I represent the cutting plane line as I said arrow in the top arrow on the bottom then dashes and these dashes have to be thick okay and then go to this side in this side you have once you cut the object you have to show the result as an example I want to show you I have as an example cake or donut and I want to show you the inside of it when I cut I should not cut and hide I should cut and show you the result so remember when you use cutting plane line you have to show the result you should not use cutting plane line without showing section AA in this side so this AA and section AA so what's section lines? section lines are the material when you do the cut these lines parallel at 45 degree these lines called parallel section lines okay viewing plane line on the other hand is the line that does not cut the object but it's point to the place where you have to look to the object as an example I'm telling you this is the front of you and if you look from this side you will be able to see this profile so that's why you are using viewing plane line this is cutting one more time cutting plane line you cut the object in the middle section lines and section view so we need to show the other view this is the top of view where the cutting plane line applied and this is the front view where's the result containing section lines here's another example of viewing plane line see here for the viewing plane line they are using lines in the middle I told you sometimes they add lines here the dashes here okay so this is viewing plane line when you point to the place you want to show other people here top front left side of you I want to tell other people if you look from this side what's the first thing you will see you'll see this shape and this shape is here blocking you from seeing the circle but if you want to see the circle without seeing the dash line you want to see the circle clearly visible you need to add viewing plane line AA and show the result at view AA so now your eyes is not located here your eyes are here because now you are looking to the object from this place not from the left side of you so this view is basically similar to the left side view but instead the only difference between them for the left side view you can see this circle as a dash line because this obstacle here shape 
is work as an obstacle. In this case, the viewing plane line has nothing in front of it, if you can see. This obstacle is behind it, you cannot see it. Then we have two lines, short break line and long break line. For the short break line, it is thick. For the long break line, it is thin. For the short break line, it's free hand drawing. You can use your hand. For the long break line, it has to be in this format. What's the purpose, the usage of short break line and long break line? They are very simple. For long break line, I have parts like this cylinder, and this cylinder cannot fit in the paper. Okay, so it is like two meter or three meter. In this example, let's say this is three meter. Okay, I want it to be fit in the paper without make scale down. Okay, so I will shorten. I will remove part of it in the middle. Okay, so in this case, I added these cuts here, and then I added long break line in the dimension here. So everyone will see this drawing will understand that the real length of this part is more longer than what it's appear on the drawing. Okay, for the short break line, it's simple, similar to cut and plane line here. This one. But instead, I will not cut the entire object from the first to the end like this one. I will, on, to show two holes, I will show only one hole. So I will cut only part of the object like this. I will break it. So the place where you break here, you will add by hand th uh, th thick line. And here you will add section lines. If you notice here, the depth of the hole behind, after, the short break line will remain dashes because it's not included in the cutting plane line. Then we have three lines, phantom, stitch, and chain lines. Chain lines, as you can see, if you want to add datum to your drawing, datum, tolerances, GD and T. Stitches are the stitches if you are making so using sewing machine, you want to add stitches. Phantom line, if you have movable part and you have initial position and last position, and this is the initial position and this is the last position so you have to represent the last position using phantom line what's phantom line characteristic it has to be thin and has to be consist of long and two small dashes long dash and two small dashes so you have to draw the final position in long two small dashes long two small dashes long two small dashes in order to let other people understand that this part is moving as an example, the laptop, the door, the opening of the door, the window, the handle of the door, anything has initial position and last position, you have to represent it using phantom line. You draw the initial position as visible line, thick, and you draw the final position as thin phantom line. Okay, so we end up this uh, alphabets of line lecture. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day. I will show you example later during this record. Uh, here is example showing you the lines in the drawing. You can see all type of lines in this example. So you can see dimension line, extension line, center line, phantom line, cutting plane line, center line, chain line, visible line, section line, short break line, hidden line, and arrowhead. Okay. Uh, this example, leader line, as you can see, no, it's, this is very important example. Okay. Now I will show another example. I have A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, as you can see. And are you able to find or to specify what type of lines used in this drawing? If you watch the video, you should be able to understand the drawing. Okay. Here are the answer. Okay. So good luck everyone. I hope this is useful video. Thank you everyone for watching.